hello hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn about how you can set up your windows admin center and how you can install it on your device so this windows admin center will help you to take remote registry keys services event viewer program files or the c drive or any drive you can access through the windows admin center and you can install it in your windows 10 11 or in the server as well so you can install it there you need to configure the device name which you would like to control it and then you can able to access like a services a registry event viewer and uh, your the c drive or the other parts as well so you can uh, just remotely access for all these things now so let's get started what you need uh, so your device should be uh, in a domain from where you would like to be configure your windows admin center let me go here and show you the my devices already added to a bunch.com so it's a part of the domain and my the server name is a lab server so under the lab server i'm going to configure my the windows admin center so now uh, let me show you how you can get at this so just type it windows admin center download and uh, use this link the third link windows admin center right click and just open into the new tab once you open it it will start downloading so already i download it so i, I don't want to be waste the time here uh, here is the download windows admin center uh, 2306 so this is the latest version which I have downloaded to show you how you can configure it so let's install it double click and uh, just go with this now accept the license and next require the diagnostic required and the optional diagnostic data so that's fine first option is better so use the Microsoft update when it is required the recommended if you would like to update your Windows admin center you can do that or if you don't want you can just leave as it is so I would like to be added now click on the next and just click on next and now use the WinRM over the HTTP or use the admin trusted root store so let me use this as well and now click on next so here is the port where it's going to be configured so it will be connecting on your 443 ssl or if you have any of the certificate so you can go with this any specific port now i would like to be configured on the port 443 and that should be open from my device to the destination so now just click on install and just wait for it yeah it asking for something click on yes so it will start installation and it won't take much time it's a very small software as you can see it's around the 100 kb 100 mb sorry so now this windows admin center is installed here and this is the url lab server dot 443 and uh, uh, the browser is this so now you can click on finish and let's configure this windows admin center now let me close this part uh, just minimize this and now click on start and see the windows admin center where it went let me see okay so now windows admin center installed here how you can search it out so it won't be show on the start or anywhere you need to go with the url it was showing on our our when it was installing it was giving a url so how you can do that uh, you need to go just uh, let me type not the google just i am giving the name uh, the server name lab server dot launch dot com and just access this so once you open this it will launch if not it will prompt you the username and password so uh, this will show you like this the lab server uh, because the 
admin center is installed here in the server and it working on the url so you can access from anywhere in the any of the domain server so now use the your domain what you have it's a once admin and uh, the password you can use it here to connect the server and now it will pull all these required details what we are looking here uh, with the help of this admin center the windows admin center so let's see what are the information it will pull so it's a computer name is a lab server domain is a once.com and the server name is windows 2022 the version is this at 8 gb ram is installed to nick card into logical process are assigned and uh, the processor name is i7 the disk space it will show you Okay, so this was showing the extension was installed. So once you launch it the first time, it will install the extension over here. Now it will show you the CPU and uh, the memory, how much it's using. You can see it. So no need to log in on that server. You can see the server health uh, here itself. Now this is what the settings. If you would like to change it, like the file sharing, the environment, power configuration, and uh, the remote desktop or the Azure Sync. So here are the many features are there, but I would like to show you how you can install it and we'll talk the other features in the coming video. Here we have the Azure backup as well. If you would like to take the backup, so you need to configure your the Azure account for on this device. And I'm, I want to show you these are related to the Azure. So let me go to the, uh, the certificate because all these things you need the Azure account to be configured. So now let's see the what are the certificate enrolled on this device. So this is an overview. Uh, what are the expired certificate? You can get it here. All these certificate are the expired. The nearby is nothing. And inside the local device, if you want to check it, it's like a Azure AD issued, issued is the auth CA, all these certificate, you can review it here itself. So this is a, like a very important tool. You can pull it with the, all the certificate. Now let's go to the device. What are the features we can view here? So now here is a computer. What is the uh, the computer? It's a 64 base. The disk drive we have uh, ATA device. The display adapter. So you can get the a number of uh, uh, properties from your the systems. What are the processor we have? What are the printers we have? What are the ports we have here? DCOM. Uh, this is the COM1, COM2. And here is the option for your events you can check it out the event viewer event report on this device like a application event security setup and all these information it will connect remotely so like the system logs if you would like to see so here it will show you all these system logs and you can monitor all these system logs the file sharing if you have any of the file sharing you can check it out here the firewalls, local account, networks, the PowerShell process, the registry. So there are the many, uh, many, many features which you can utilize. So here is the C drive and the one more. Uh, this is a, I think Windows I installed. So that was mount. So you can see the C drives here and all these things you can take a, any action if you would like to take. Like if you want to create a new folder, so you can go and create a new folder as well. So uh, these things and uh, now let me go to the remote desktop. If we can take it this RDP, let's give it a try. If not, we need to configure it. So here is a domain and connect. And let's see whether I am able to take a RDP or not. Also, it's asking for the settings. I need to configure this remote desktop. So this is allow. And now, uh, now, now the setting got changed so I can utilize this feature for the remote desktop. Let me go same device. I cannot take a control over here. I need to use this URL from some other device. Then only I can take control because I will be lost the connection for this RDP. So uh, roles and the features if you want to take it and uh, the security 
features also all these features you can utilize it I don't want to be waste the time here to explain each and every features so now let me show you the one thing uh, the RDP part which was the missed let me take this URL and let me go to the some another server that is in my active directory server or any other server uh, from where the port 443 is opened from there you can access and this this windows admin center is installed on that device so you can access from anywhere so now connect just and, 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 and now you have the same settings i was showing you on another server so now let me search out the remote desktop where it went here and let me try to connect over here let me put the password and it will save automatically here so next time you no need to put it here so now let's go here and now your the RDP is here so but the another user who have to log in like this it will lost the connection because you have login in the device so now you have uh, the console here what I opened there and you can work out anything which you want to perform the action so you can take a RDP as well here is the other features the roles feature schedule task if you want to schedule any task you can do that and uh, the registry services storage and all these things so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video for the some interesting topic